What's good? It's your boy GK back with another video where we got rocking today. You already know if you clicked on this video, what's going on in GTI today? 034 Motorsports Sway Bar, boy. This is going in the rear. This thing is about to be lit. I cannot wait to put this on the car. Honestly, this is going to change the car, the dynamics of it, the steering of it, just that chassis stiffness and turnaround turns. It's going up, baby. It's going down. It's happening today. Let's get into it. All right, so the kit comes with the sway bar. It also comes with this kit right here. So we got the brackets with the bushings on the inside of it. These brackets that's gotta go to the subframe on the rear, a couple bolts, and then a couple washers and some nuts on it. This comes with the kit and it got a little grease packet in there so you can pre-grease this thing before you put it on. And that's everything it comes with. Supposedly this install takes about two hours. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, gang, please excuse me. If your boy looking sweaty, it's like 80 degrees out. Your boy working underneath the car. We got the car jacked up now. So just coming underneath it, first thing we gotta do is disconnect the sway bar links on both sides. So right here, and then coming to the other side, right here. Now, if you've seen my video that I did on the sway bar end links, it's gonna help you tremendously right here. I'm gonna skip that part, go ahead and do that and get back to you. All right, so now since both of these sway bar end links are loosened off on both sides, next up, we gotta take these bolts out of here. One on the bottom, one on the top side, on both sides. So one right here and one on the top part of it as well, right there. These should be M10s. So you're just gonna do that for this one and that one and all the other three. All right, gang, so we had to do a location change. Had to bring it over to the shop. These pieces are just so rusted. Honestly, I couldn't get these ones out of here. Honestly, if you come through, if you in upstate New York or those areas, you already know what that salt looking like. So that's what we had to do. We're gonna go ahead and snap these out of here and then we're gonna get the new pieces in here. Yo, bro, gonna pull this joint out later. Fine, right, look at this dusty ass sway bar, boy. Let's get the new one over here. Way heavier, ain't it? That's solid. And this new one, 034 Motorsport, is the old one. Bro, this thing is like lightweight. This thing's solid. Right, so now we gotta slide this bad boy into play. So the next thing we need to do is we gotta grease up these bushings and put them onto the car. It comes with this little grease tool packet. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up now. Crack it open and put a little bit of grease on the inside of this bad boy right here. So I'm just squeezing this little tube. Just use a finger and rub it around just a little bit. Make sure we got all the pieces all coated. Fine, and we're gonna put it on both sides. So then I'm gonna do the other one now. Rub it around in there. Let me show y'all. So coming over to the whip, all you do is you just put it on there and then this piece just opens up. Just like this. It just slide into place. It's gonna sit on the inside right here. That's sort of how that sit there. All right, we just stepping out the shop for a second. It's a little loud in there. We got to take these little screws right here, these little nuts, and we got to put a little bit of blue thread locker on them. So right here, the little blue thread locker. That's going to go on the tips of this so we can get that on there. All right, so we take this right here, put a little bit of blue thread locker on in it. All right, so now we got this out here. This piece right here, this, this bracket piece goes in between this piece right here, and you always make sure your zerk fittings are facing downwards. This allows you so that way you can... uh put some grease in them at later times whenever you need to. So this is how it goes. Nut or bolt with some Loctite on it, the blue Loctite. Where my finger is pointing is gonna go that bolt and then a washer and then to the bracket. So make sure you do that. I had to actually go back, take these out and put that in there. With the bracket and then there's a supplied rectangular bracket behind that piece. So it sort of sits flat. And this is how it's sitting in here right now. Next stuff, we put the end links on. And now after the end links go on, you got two settings. This I believe is the softer and this is the tighter setting. So depending on where you put it, 
is gonna be how tight and how uh, stiff the rear end feels when you go to turn. All right, so we all together now, right here. I actually went on the stiffer setting. So this right here will be the looser setting. This is the stiffer setting right here. Now we gotta take this thing out of the shop, see what it's looking like right now. And that butterfly just landed on it. You already know, that's a good sign. So we already under here, you already know. All right, gang, just real quick update. This thing is feeling real mint right now, but I gotta get some more time driving it under the belt before I can give some real review of this. This thing went on much smoother than I thought it would, but it did take a little bit of work because we got some rust that happens up here in upstate New York due to the salt that puts on the road. I'm sure me driving it through the winter did not help that situation at all. Anyways, this thing feels really good. That's just a quick review so far. I'm gonna have the official review dropping pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, gang, it's the next day. We sliding over to a car show right now. Andy out there already washed his car. He here first, as usual. I'm about to go through the car wash right now. That bay wasn't working, the one I like to use. So now I gotta wait in this line. It is what it is. After we're done washing the car, we're gonna slide over to this show. I think my pops might show up. I'm pretty sure Shorty gonna slide through in a little bit as well. So it's gonna be all good. She had to go somewhere do something. So that's why she's not with me right now. I can't wait to see what's at this show. If you guys can remember, this was a show that we went to last year. It's gonna be lit. Last year, this is where it had the white Lambo. I'm gonna put a little link up to it up there right now. Check that out. That was a cool video. It was a good time. Saw some cool stuff at that time. However, I'm not sure how much sound I'm gonna be able to put in. Last time they had like a live DJ there, I'm not trying to get no copyright strike. So anyways, let's slide over there. squad we about to slide out right now it is now the next day after the next day so sway bar went on on friday we went to the car show yesterday you guys saw that earlier and now we about to slide over to another dino day right now this is like crazy weekend everything booked in the same weekend it's just been nuts got the gopro camera so let me know how that footage is looking but we got to slide out of here it's rain or shine today and as you guys can tell it is rain today so let's slide out obviously we're meeting at the meeting spot car wash you know how that go let's do this all right, we're riding right now. I don't know if you guys can see him, but that's Andy right behind me. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, extra, read all about it. Hot off the press, brand new news, front page, who is this? All black on, real low key, take a guess I stand out from the rest, no contest I've been the man, I am him Only fear God with the fear God I'm in Been blessed, prayed up, amen Now I'm getting to this money like a paper route kid Extra, extra, read all about it Alright, we just finished up there. We honestly it, thought it was a dino day. It wasn't. It was just a cars and coffee. We were there for a little while. Now we're about to go grab something to eat real quick. Man, it's been a crazy busy weekend. But your boy is starving. Let's get out of here. Alright, gang. We are back at the crib. It's been a long weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I can't wait to see you in the next video. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Holla at your boy. I can't wait to see you in the next video. We sign out with another one. Peace.
P.O.K. Okay. Okay. What's up? I've been on a paper chase for months. I've been on a marathon for months. All in all, I can't just get enough. I know.